Hawkins versus McGee. When he was 11 years old, George Hawkins turned on the light in his family's kitchen, and his right hand made contact with an electrical wire, badly burning and scarring his hand. Years later, George's father was approached by Edward McGee, a local doctor, who offered to remove the scars from George's hand. McGee guaranteed to make a 100% good hand, and both George and his father agreed to the operation. Unfortunately, the operation failed, and because McGee had used a skin graft from George's chest area, it caused the palm of George's hand to grow thick hair. Hawkins sued McGee for breach of contract. The trial court instructed the jury that if Hawkins was entitled to relief, it should award him damages based on pain and suffering from the operation, as well as any additional ill effects he suffered from the operation beyond his existing injury. The jury awarded $3,000 in damages to Hawkins, but McGee moved to set aside the verdict as excessive. The trial court agreed and said that if Hawkins didn't return the damages awarded above $500, the verdict would be set aside. Hawkins refused, and therefore the trial court set aside the verdict. Hawkins appealed to the New Hampshire Supreme Court. The issue on appeal was what damages would be appropriate to award Hawkins. The court held that the proper measure of Hawkinson's damages is the difference in value to him of the perfect hand that McGee had promised to him and the value of his hand in its present condition, that is, a hairy hand, including any incidental damages reasonably foreseeable to the parties at the time the contract was formed. Therefore, the jury was correct in finding that McGee breached a warranty for the success of the operation based on his 100% guarantee to Hawkins. But the jury should have never been instructed to consider pain and suffering, because pain and suffering are to be expected with any surgical operation. This was part of the consideration Hawkins agreed to under the terms of the agreement. Additionally, no damages should have been awarded for any worsening of Hawkins' hand by the operation, as damages can be sufficiently awarded based on McGee's failure to follow through with his 100% guarantee. Hawkins v. McGee, known for good reason as the hairy hand case, is one of the most widely known cases in contract law and was made famous in the classic film, The Paper Chase. If you found this video helpful, you can explore all of our content by visiting us at quimby.com. If you have a question or comment about this case, please post it in the comments area below and we'll do our best to get back to you. If you think we did a good job with this video, please like, share, and favorite it. And if you think this video might be helpful to people you know, please share on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well, to get this video out there. If you haven't done so already and you enjoy watching videos on this channel, click on the red subscribe button just below this video so you can get all the latest updates.